what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we are doing something pretty fun that you guys are going to get to keep up with for the next little bit because today i'm picking up mine and sarah's winter project now we have been planning this for some time looking for the perfect perfect project for sarah and i to work on through this entire winter as you guys know fishing slows down a lot during the winter in our area a lot of the warmer water fish the spanish mackerel the pompano um, they just leave they're gone you know the, the water temperatures drop when we were out on the boat this morning the water was like down to 58 degrees so these fish they bounce they're just they run to warmer water so they're gone the fish that are left sheep's head of course the black drums are still around I, just not my favorite type of fishing if I'm being honest with you now we're gonna go out there and we're gonna make some sheep's heads videos and, and things of that nature but it's just not my favorite so I needed something to get my hands in this winter so I ain't sitting around doing nothing eating cheese balls and biscuits and gravy and gaining 100 pounds if y'all know what I mean I'm still gonna be eating cheese balls and biscuits and gravy let's not get crazy but at least this is going to give me something to do now Sarah doesn't even know I'm out picking this thing up so I don't know how she's gonna react when I come pulling it into the house, but let's go check out the winter project and see what you guys think. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I am excited and nervous all at the same time. Am I the only one that just has the smallest bit of apprehension when you're going to buy something like off a of Facebook marketplace because you don't know who they are, you're showing up with cash. And it's just, I don't know, it just always makes me a little bit nervous. I can't be the only one that like thinks like that. Like, are they gonna rob me? Is something crazy gonna happen? I definitely hope that's not the case, but uh, we're gonna roll out here and check it out. I, I'm pretty excited, guys. Like, for, like, I've been wanting to do this for a minute, and I think we've got the opportunity right now. You're going up. Am I? <laughs> Don't tell no one. You're logging? You should. So there you have it folks we are rehabbing a 1989 coachman camper for me sarah and the boys to go camping in i've wanted to do this for a while now this dude is rough around the edges when we get back to it only has three tires y'all three tires but i got it for a really really good deal when we get back to the house we're gonna check out see what all's in it because it is full of crap let me tell you that right now it's full of stuff and we're gonna see what all's in there. We're gonna talk about some of the things we planning on doing. Heck, we might even start doing a little demo today. Let's go. Hey, baby. Hey, you. Um, what's that? It's our rehab project. You said you were going to get something for camping. I. What the crap? It. That's ugly. It's a rehab project. We have to make it pretty. So it's not something we can camp in today. No. Well, I mean, we could, but I don't think we want to. Look, it's look. You remember that show you used to watch, Bones? Yeah. It's it's. Is like, there a dead body in there? No, no, there's not a dead body. You just have to look past the outside and like the structure of it's good. Oh, it's missing a wheel. It, that's not a. That's one of the what? drawbacks. This is like Wait, super rehab. I feel like you're not giving it a chance. I feel like it's not bad. Okay, like it's not bad. What's your idea of not? bad oh <gasps> this will like legit have to be completely gutted it's a rehab project i told you we're gonna start from scratch we're gonna redo the whole thing i gotta see this there's not even stairs there's not steps apparently they got ripped off somehow uh, look so it looks like they already tried to renovate it look at the artwork oh wow guys <laughs> check out the artwork oh <sighs> Hey, it's it has kind a, of an inspiration. It has a bathroom. Does it? Yeah, right back there. We don't even have a bathroom. Like that's like a step up from camping, like in a tent. You yeah. have a bathroom. Yeah, for for sure. <laughs> I didn't say it was a nice bathroom. There's like a right like look at the little tiny shower. There's oh. no way. 
kind of stinks too. This one really stinks. All right, so now that I've got Sarah calmed down a little bit. I think he's kind of got me convinced. My I, my little ticker's ticking, and I've got some ideas. Like Sarah was not sold when I first rolled up with the camper, but that's the point of this. This is a rehab yeah, project. Yeah, so. I feel like I'm a super creative person, so I feel like I could definitely do something design-wise. And, and look, this is something we're going to bring you guys along for every step of the way. We're going to gut this camper. We are going to start gut. over from scratch. But the first thing I'm going to do... Can I demo the bathroom? Because I've just, got to go. I'm just telling y'all right now. The first thing I'm going to do is go get some foggers. And I'm going to set them off in here. Because oh, yeah. this looks like spider heaven. And y'all know I don't play with spiders. No so I don't play with spiders. So I'm going to go get a couple defoggers. I'm going to set them off in here. Just make sure there's no spiders, ants, anything like that. And then we are going to clean this bad boy out. So we can get started on this renovation. And making this camper ours. But... I think the first thing, like the first thing we need your all's help with, there's going to be a lot of things where we're going to ask you yeah. guys, because I'm going to tell <laughs> you guys, not professional, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all right now, in I'm going to tell y'all right now, just to be a hundred percent on the reel with you guys. Oh. I'm pretty handy, but I've never taken on anything like this. I 100%. You can do floors. Like, yeah. I have, yeah. I have paint. no clue what I'm doing here. 100%. Not even trying to pretend like I do. This is going to be a project that we're going to need some help along the way. But I think the first thing we need their help with before we start demoing this bad boy is we got to have a name. Yes. I mean, if it's going to be part of, name her. if it's going to be part of the camera crew, we got to have a name for the old camper. So you guys leave a comment down below and what and no like junk fireball no, bonfire, none of them like that. Even though it might be what it looks like right now. We need your all's honest opinions down in the comment section on what you think we can name our new rehab project. I don't know how many videos this is going to take. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know what we're going to get into when we start ripping this thing apart. Uh, I will, and there might be stuff like when we take it apart, there might be stuff that we can like refurbish. Like yeah, turn it into for sure. something else. I or... mean, apparently the microwave works, mm -hmm. the air conditioning works. Um, I, I will tell you guys, I got a really good deal on this camper, which is why I bought it as a rehab project. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and we are going to attempt to rehab this camper top to bottom. We're going to bring you guys along for the journey. But the first thing we got to start with is demo. Like demo. we got to get rid of some of all this stuff down Ooh, here has got to go. And like, yeah, you, we got to have I'm goggles. Got to have masks, yeah. like just in case there's any kind of craziness. We got, I mean, like, look at this guy. So this is, this is definitely got to go. I like, might be getting some custom made curtains. Yeah, yeah, we, maybe we get some CMR curtains for in here. That'd be pretty cool. Guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to defog this bad boy because we do not want any spiders or anything like that. And then right after that, we're going straight in to demolition. And we're going to get this thing gutted. So we got nothing Dude, but a shell I'm going to turn into like Tim the Toolman Taylor. I swear. Power. For somebody who wasn't very happy about this a few <laughs> minutes ago, hey, you sure you know, are. People pay money to go to rage booths. I got my own. You do have your own I rage booth. Like, we're we are straight up going to take a sledgehammer to this bad boy, completely gut it, starting probably right back here. With the bathroom and the hole that's in the bathroom. Y'all this... look at the big hole before you step in the bathroom. Yeah, like... I did not do that. Let's do some demo. I'm fogging my camper. We are. All right, y'all. So here we are, day two. It's a little bittersweet, and I'll explain to you guys. So uh, yesterday, pretty much right after we shot the camper piece, we had fully intended on coming out here and completely demoing it today. And... Uh, Sarah ended up having to leave and head back to Kentucky. So just for an update for you guys, her dad, as many of you know, about six months ago, was dealing with some major medical issues. He never really got over those. He'd kind of gotten a little bit better, but they were still persisting. And, uh, and unfortunately, um, they, they have called hospice in and uh, he, he's getting ready to check out and go home. So Sarah's up there with him. The boys and I are going to head up on Sunday. I've got weddings up there so you guys keep sarah and her family in your prayers um the coming days and weeks are, are going to be very rough on them obviously so um just you know always always be thinking about them but we're not gonna do a full demo without sarah because i know how excited she was 
to demo this camper. So what I am going to do is I'm, Chase and I are going to come in here. We're going to get all the garbage out today. I'm going to kind of show you guys a couple things and kind of talk to you about what my plans are and what mine and Sarah's plans are for this camper as far as layout. So we're actually going to take the bathroom completely out. We're not going to have a bathroom in it at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the back part of the camper a full-size bed we're probably going to put it about two and a half three feet up to have room for storage underneath of it and then a mattress on top um, and then we're going to turn this part right here into a workstation we're going to rip this couch out we're going to make over here like a little workstation for editing whatever we need to do in that regards we're going to take the refrigerator all this stuff's going to come out now i don't know whether it's good they tell me when i bought the camper that it was good i'm not sure so what I'm going to do is take all of this out. We'll check it, see if it works. The stove, if it works, maybe we'll sell it on Facebook Marketplace, try to recoup a little bit of money. I don't know. I don't really have any plans. And then we're going to take the vanity or the sink, whatever you want to call it, and we're actually going to move it up to the front of the camper where that couch is at. The holding tank's already up there. It does have a brand new holding tank on, on it underneath that bench seat up there. So we're just going to take the vanity. It's not going to be that one. We're going to rip that one out, throw it away. We'll take the metal to scrap, recycle it. Um, we'll probably burn the wood um, rather than take it to the dump just because it makes the most sense. We have a ton of fires out here. We're going to pull all these cabinets. We're going to put new cabinets in up here. They're pretty simple to replace. Um, I have not decided on the Luon. You guys leave a comment down below and, and tell me whether you think I should try to sand this Luon down. It really does not have water damage. So that was one of the big things that I was expecting when I bought this camper, I mean, I paid $600 for it. So I was fully expecting like the Luon to have some major water damage. So I don't know if I'm going to actually replace the Luon or if I'm going to just like sand it down. Obviously we're going to repaint everything uh, before it's all said and done. All these curtains are going to come down. We can actually do that right now. Like take these curtains down um, and toss those. Well, probably should be wearing goggles and a mask for this just in the spirit of hundred percent honesty. One cool thing it did come with, Chase, you put the camera right down there. It actually did come with a couple leveling jacks, so that's nice. Um, we'll get those put on for leveling it up. I was going to toss these, but these actually work. I did plug the camper up last night, and these are the old, I'm assuming, retro regular lights right there. So I'm probably going to keep these and repurpose them. I may actually take these back there and put them over the bed, um, almost like a, a reading light area. So, like I said, I'm not going to demo the whole camper without Sarah. She really wanted to be here for that, and I wanted to be here for that. So, we're going to wait till she gets back home, um, and we're going to we're gonna rehab it then. We are going to go ahead tonight and get all this junk. Like, we got some uh, some grape jelly in here, which is, that's, that's a little scary. Um, got bowls, dishes, like, all this probably just going to toss. I mean, like, I mean... I mean, what, oh, there's pennies in the, y'all, look at that. That's already a recoup on my money right there. I got like eight cents back my $600 right there. So, Chase, look, we got some peanut butter to go with the jelly, y'all. No. I mean, if you, oh, look, there's, there's even a little jelly on the bottom. That That's really nasty. So, I'm just gonna like, probably go get a pair of gloves and put them on because like, guys, like, like I don't know what to even think about. Like, but. I, I don't know. Probably gonna toss everything that's in here to be 100% honest with you. There's not really anything here I want to deal with. Like, I have no idea what that is. Kind of sketchy, if you ask me. So, we're gonna go ahead and get all the junk cleaned out of here tonight at least. And then as soon as we get Miss Sarah back here to Florida, we are gonna go ahead and clean the rest of it up. I was just getting ready to go in the house and y'all look, we got some, uh, some blankets. Obviously, going straight to the trash can with these. Yo, there could be anything up in here. Like, I'm scared to death a freaking snake's gonna fall out or something dumb. Because that would be my luck. No snakes, thank goodness. That would suck if like a dead snake came out when you pulled that blanket out. Yeah, real bad. <laughs>
And that's gonna be a wrap on the initial video of buying a camper. Like I told you guys several times throughout the video, we wanted a project to work on this winter and I think this was the perfect thing. Hey, and at the end of the day, if it's not, there's all kinds of options. Like we can burn it, we can sink it, we can take it out to the demolition ranch out in Texas and do a collab with those guys and maybe shoot it with a tank or something cool like that if we don't get it rehab, but I think we can. I think it has potential to be a really cool camper once we put some time into it and once we get it done. Guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you get that notification bell turned on so that you know each and every time we upload a video here at the Cameraman Ron channel, make sure you keep Sarah and her family in your prayers as the coming days and weeks are going to be very difficult for us all, but especially on her, um, her stepmom, her brothers, and her mom. Um, it's gonna be a, a pretty tough time for them, so keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I don't know because you know, YouTube took the dislike button away. So I don't know if anybody dislikes it. So you three or four waiter haters that always like to hit the thumbs down button, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess you're gonna just have to start liking the videos now. Guys, if you're new here to the Cameraman Ron channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button 2021 style. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care, we'll see you soon.